What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be covering the fastest way that you can change League of Legends accounts without having to put in a password, two-factor or anything like that. If you don't already know, for the past couple of years, I've been working on an open source project called the Techno Account Switcher. It's completely free, completely open source, and it lets you swap accounts really fast on Steam, Origin, Epic Games, Discord, etc, including Valorant and League of Legends. In this video, I'll be showing you how it works, and later on we'll get to actually installing it. You'll find links to it in the description down below if you'd like to check out the source code, or of course, download it yourself, which we'll get to later. First, I'll give you an example of how it works. I'll open up the Techno Account Switcher and click Manage Extra Platforms in the bottom right if we don't already see Riot Games. Then simply make sure that Riot Games is ticked, these are all the supported platforms, and it should show up on the list over here. I'll click in it to open it up and you should see a screen that looks something similar to this. Right at the bottom over here, we have the ability to start games, including Valorant, League of Legends, or anything else that's found on your start bar in the Riot Games folder, and we can simply reorganize these for ease of access. Simply clicking the shortcut will open up League of Legends, which we'll be doing in just a moment. If you don't see any game shortcuts here, expand this dropdown, click the plus, and a new folder will open. Simply copy shortcuts to games or programs in here, and upon heading back to this window, back and into it, you should immediately see it update with any games and shortcuts we placed there, which we can then organize and use later on. First of all, we need to sign into an account. I'll click the League of Legends button here to start up a league. As you can see, I'm currently logged into Technobo NA. This is my account over here. Assuming that when we logged in, we made sure that remember my account or stay signed in was ticked, we are able to save it. Essentially how this program works, it swaps out the token for the account we're logged into with another one or none in order to log into a new account, and it'll let us quickly swap between accounts without a password or two factor. The only way that it works is if you have remember password ticked, stay signed in or whatever the button is. I did that, so I can go ahead and save my account now. If you're not sure whether you did that or not, simply sign out of your account by clicking the X in the top right and choosing sign out here, then sign into it again. As soon as you signed in with remember password ticked, don't use the sign out button again, otherwise it'll invalidate our account and we'll need to enter a password the next time we switch to it. So because I have my password remembered, I'll exit out of the launcher here. Inside of the Techno Account Switcher, I'll simply click Save Current and we'll give our current account a name. I'll call it, say, TCNA Technobo North America. I'll click Add and my account will immediately show on the list over here. If we click Add New at the very bottom, we'll be signed out of Riot Games and we'll need to sign in again if we'd like to play anything. This account over here has been saved and by double clicking on it, right clicking and swapping to it or selecting it and choosing Login, we'll be immediately logged back into that account. But for now, we're going to add a new account. I clicked Add New. I'll click the League of Legends button to launch up the game and we'll be asked to sign into it. So that's exactly what I'll do. I'll enter my username and password, click Stay Signed In, OK, and log in. As soon as we do so, we should eventually be dropped to the screen here where we can launch up the actual League of Legends launch room and you'll see that I'm signed into another account. Awesome. Kevin 11. So I'll click Exit in the top right, choose Exit, not Sign Out. And inside of the account switcher, I'll call it, say, KE. I'll save the current account, and now we have two accounts here. To swap between them, simply choose an account you want, double click, right click swap to, or select it, and choose login. After it says done, we can launch up whatever game we'd like, in this case, League of Legends, and you can see over here, Technobo NA. I've successfully switched accounts just by double clicking on it in my Techno account switcher. It really is just that simple. Once again, don't click sign out or change accounts in League of Legends, Valorant or anything like that. Otherwise, it'll deauthor one of these accounts here and the next time you switch to it, you'll need to enter the password for it. Only use the add new button down here to sign into a new account. What else do we have? Well, there's a couple of features. Clicking the settings button in the bottom right, we can choose between many languages, activate a different theme, control our accounts from a tray application, and at the very bottom, we can choose whether we'd like to automatically start the Riot Games client on Switch, run it as admin, and of course, create a desktop shortcut. This creates a desktop shortcut to this screen over here, allowing us to immediately swap accounts for Riot Games. On top of this, we can right-click actual accounts here and create desktop shortcuts. This way, we can simply swap accounts by double-clicking shortcuts on our desktop. I'm currently signed into Technobo North America, as you can see over here. So I'll simply push it across to the side and double click on my other account here, which is Kevin11. 
double clicking on it, you should immediately notice that a window pops up, Riot, Valorant, and everything else closes immediately, and our account will then be swapped. We can launch up League of Legends using either the button here or a normal shortcut on our desktop, and when we do, you can see that we've immediately swapped accounts. Awesome. It really is just that simple. So how exactly do you get the software and install it? Let's go through that now. In the description down below, you'll find the Techno Account Switcher GitHub link. Upon clicking it, you'll be taken to a page like this. You can view the source code if you'd like to see how it's written and whether you can trust it. Scroll down further and you'll see a big orange download button. Simply click this. Having a further scroll down, you'll see some features, some extra steps, an installation guide if you'd like to go more in depth, as well as screenshots from the program, etc. If you ever get stuck or encounter any issues, click the need help and info button so you'll be taken across to the project's wiki. You can head into the FAQ and the question you may have may already be answered here. If not, make sure to open an issue or contact me via Discord. Anyways, clicking download, it'll take me across to the latest release where I can simply scroll down and choose how I'd like it. There's portable versions over here, 7Z and Zip. These are exactly the same, just one needs 7-zip to open, and it's half the size of the zip. What you'll most likely be downloading is the installer.exe over here. Simply click it, and it'll download. Then just to show you the installation process, as I already have it installed, I'll fire up a Windows sandbox. Copying in the launcher here, double-clicking on it. Next, I agree. You can choose shortcuts. Next, install, and it'll then decompress files and install. You'll see a window like this pop up asking you to install runtimes. Simply hit enter or any key. They'll then download and install one by one. If anything breaks in, you will find download links to these on the wiki. And these are all official Microsoft distributions if you'd like to install them yourself and you don't trust me. Upon completion, the program will start up. I'll close out of the launcher itself. And there we go. We can immediately start switching accounts. It works exactly as you'd hope. Super simple. But anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.